Welcome to Bittersweet Theory. Today's theory is about little sweet Marlene from Final Fantasy VII. Now, with everything going on in Final Fantasy, it's easy to overlook things going on with side characters when some of us are obsessing over uh, other characters. For today's theory, I believe that Marlene has the powers of a Sintra. Unfortunately, there's not much to go on when it comes to Marlene's backstory. What we do know is that she's the daughter of Dine and Eleanor. When the Shinra Power Company destroys her home, Barrett, Dine's best friend, adopts Marlene and they move to Sector 7 slums in Midgar. With limited information on her past, we don't have a lot to go on in terms of her relatives, but what we do have is a good understanding of Sintra powers. Here is where I'm going to explain what the Sintra powers are and how Marlene uses each one. Connection with the planet. Sintras have the ability to communicate with the planet itself. This allows them to understand its will, sense disturbances in the life stream, and generally have a deep connection with the world. We see that Marlene uses this power at the end of the game. She is watering the flowers in Aerith's room. When Elmira calls her downstairs, she turns around because she can hear Barrett calling out to her that he will come back. Magic Abilities Sentras possess the natural affinity for magic. They can harness the planet's magical energy to perform powerful spells. Now, Marlene is still young in the game Final Fantasy VII Remake and the Avert Children movie, so we don't get to see her using magic. However, when our sweet cinnamon roll gets older, I think that she will be just fine using magic. Understanding the live stream. Sentries have a heightened awareness of the live stream, which is the collective force of all living things on the planet. They can sense and interact with the live stream in ways other beings cannot. Now this is where our girl shines. I would like to turn your attention to two different scenes. The first example is in the scene when Aerith goes to the he seventh heaven bar to save Marlene. While she is hugging Aerith, Marlene experiences the same intense glitching that Cloud experiences. I don't know of a really good way to describe it. She can sense that something is off after she does. Aerith tells her to be quiet about what just happened. This is a warning not to let anybody know, especially Shinra. Another example of Marlene understanding the live stream is in the Avert Children's film. When Aerith's spirit is near, Marlene is the only one who is able to sense her. Would you like another example? Ah, I'm so happy you asked. In the new Final Fantasy trailer, if you believe that Zack is a spirit and is in fact dead, this means that Marlene's spirit is talking to Zack. So that means that Marlene's spirit is the one warning him of what's going to happen to Aerith when she wakes up. Now I'm wondering if predicting the future is part of Central Powers too. All right, everybody, that's all I have for you today. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, it has been bittersweet.